Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dokonic here, and we got a new update from the JP just now. It is currently June 28th, and we got a whole bunch of great ape rebirths and the Super Saiyan 3 Broly information. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I provide here on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications. That way you get the most recent and up-to-date information about Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle delivered directly to you. Thank you, enjoy the video, and have a great day. All right, so actually the timing worked out really well. Just got home from work. I sat down, I made myself some food, heated up some uh, pasta that I had made earlier in the week. Sat down to just get some notifications from my Twitter that there are new great apes coming out. I jumped on the Reddit. They were literally doing translations in the middle of me checking this out. So I got this perfect time. I got all my pictures and everything. <laughs> um, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. We have a whole bunch of new uh, cards that are available right now. Now, if you saw my video earlier, I'm gonna save the Super Saiyan 3 Broly for the last card, just so you get all the new ones first. If you don't know about the translations for the Super Saiyan 3 Broly, he's gonna come towards the end of the video. So we have the Strength Great Ape, Great Ape Raditz Rebirth, the Agility Great Ape Vegeta, Physical Great Ape Kid Goku, and then we have the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly, the SSR, then his TUR version, and then we also have the new TUR Physical Super Saiyan 3 Broly. And that's the free-to-play card that is available on the Berserker of Destruction event. Let me tell you, that card, his his new Dokken Awakening, he's actually a pretty freaking sick card for free-to-play. Uh, for you new players, make sure you grind him out to Super Attack 10. And, I mean, honestly, if you are if you are brand new, you might want to consider throwing some dupes into his dupe system. Or th th throwing some orbs into his dupe system. But anyway, well, let's go ahead and jump into what this is. First off, thank you to the Toaster of Fun for making the JP uh, download information available to us on the Reddit. Uh, I have, I'll have a link to his Reddit post down below. And also for translating everything. Uh, so go over there, go ahead and thank him, upvote his post. And uh, there were some comments in there too, and thank him for all this because without this, I wouldn't have this information. Uh, translation time. Let's go in. Let's get into it. Uh, Transcendent Great Ape Raditz. His leader skill is when HP is 30% or higher, key plus three, and attack and defense plus 30%. Uh, not great for a leader. Stats are HP of 9021, attack of 7801, and defense of 4898. His super attack again still typical. Uh, double Sunday does supreme damage, so no immense there. Um, actually, none of these guys get immense except for the Super Saiyan 3 Broly, unfortunately. And that's only the tech one. Passive skill, attack and defense 12% uh, up per key orb obtained. Chance to grade, go grade ape two times. And his link skills are the Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Brutality, Nightmare, Giant, Saiyan Roar, and Rebirth. So, not really that great in terms of links. Uh, let's go ahead, I actually have him up right here. He requires three Nappa medals from the um, Great Ape, or yeah, the, 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 Saiyan, the Saiyan Warrior event that's coming out. It should be back out on the JP side soon. I think in two days it comes out on the 30th, it was said to. Um, the next one is going to be the Transcendent Great Ape Vegeta. His leader ability is Agility Types Key plus 2, HP and Defense plus 70% up. God damn, they couldn't give him attack. Stats is HP of 8286, attack of 8279, and the defense of six, uh, 4669. Uh, his super attack, Gallic Gun, Supreme Dives the Enemy. Passive skill is HP, when HP is 80% or higher. Attack and defense plus 70% up, and his has a chance to go Great Ape up to two times. Um, I think that's actually typo, it's probably when HP is 80% uh, or lower. Makes more sense to be that, uh, pretty sure it's lower. Yeah, I think there was uh, someone who that mentioned that in the comments. So yeah, 80% or lower, attack and defense plus 70% up. Link skills, Sand Warrior Race, Royal Lineage, uh, Big Bad Bosses, over 9,000, I don't know why. Giant, Saiyan Roar, and Rebirth. Uh, let's go take a look and see. I'm also on the Japan uh, jpn.dbz.space getting all the information about the Rebirths or what medals are required for them because it's not in the post. Uh, so that's three Nappa medals as well. So yeah, you need six Nappa medals total. So go ahead and grind them out. Even if you don't have them, they're just easy to grind out. Uh, the next one is the Transcendent. Great Ape Kid Goku, leader skill, all types, HP, attack, and defense, plus 50%. All right, not that bad, not that bad. Uh, no key there, but, you know, he's decent if you don't have any leaders. Stats is 94.81 for health, 78.38 for defense, I mean, uh, for attack, and 46.23 for defense. Super attack is Kamehameha. It causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, attack plus 80% at the start of the turn. Chance to go Great Ape two times, so that's not that bad. Uh, links are Kamehameha, the Innocence, odd. Uh, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, Mysterious Adventure, Giant, Saiyan Roar, and Rebirth. 
So let's go ahead and take a look what does he require to Doken Wing. Oh, seven Master Mark medals from the World Tournament. That's right. Um, so if you guys don't have them, those are not that hard to get. If you're a newer player, um, it's just in the World Tournament local rankings. You need to get within a certain amount in the local rankings in order to Doken Awaken him. Anyway, global players, you now you know if you have that card. Make sure you get some of those Master Mark medals from the World Tournament saved up for when they come out in six months. <laughs> um, all right, cool. So we're going to actually jump over the Super Saiyan 3 that's currently available in the post. We're going to go down straight down to the Super Saiyan 3 Physical Transcendent Ultra Rare. Um, this is the one that Doken Awakens from the card from the Berserk Over Destruction event. He goes from the Beta Mail to the Super Saiyan. Now he goes from the Super Saiyan to the Super Saiyan 3. So his new leader skill, all types, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 30% up. Um, his stats are HP of 8835, attack of 7460, and defense of 40, uh, 4008. His super attack is double racer cannon, does supreme damage, we believe. Um, attack at, to start, at the start of the turn, key plus 3, attack plus 70% up. Wow, super reliant right there. He's really freaking good. He's going to do really, really well on an extreme physical team or just on a physical team, a mono physical team all in general. Uh, that That's so self-sufficient. That's great. Um... So resentment to King Vegeta or Hardened Grudge on the global side. Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Limit Breaking Form, Formidable Enemy, and Super Fierce Battle. He token awakens with 35 medals from the new Super Saiyan 3 Broly event, which I don't have any information about right now. Uh, but I will go over that when I have that information. I'll actually probably do a playthrough on it instead of actually just giving you uh, information about it. I'll probably do both. Anyway, um, yeah. So he is really super viable, that physical one. He's going to do really well, just especially because he has a super fierce battle link. Um, that super fierce battle link just makes him really viable to run along all your Doken exclusives. Uh, now let's go ahead and just re-jump back into the Super Saiyan 3 Tech Broly. For any of you who've already seen this video from me, uh, feel free to skip over it. Uh, the, let's start off with his SSR version. His leader skill is Extreme Tech Cards, Key Plus 2, All Stats, Attack Plus 100%. His, to Heroes, its Tech Cards get All Stats Plus 40%. His max stats at SSR are uh, HP of 7970, uh, attack of 9248, and defense of 3855. His super attack double razor cannon causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense. His passive skill... What, wait, first of all, what is it with all of these villain cards with these greatly lowers defense? I don't get it. Anyway, uh, passive skill, attack plus 80% up, attack uh, plus attack plus 10% up, and defense minus 10% for a key orb obtained. So he's still a little mini nuker, or just still a nuker uh, at that, uh, even in his uh, SSR version before it becomes TUR. His links are Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Ready for War, Super Saiyan, Nightmare, and Limit Breaking Form. He transcends, which I'm assuming, let me just go over double check, I don't want to say it, but 77, yeah, 77 medals from his own event. Um, he dokens into the Transcendent Ultra Rare Super Saiyan 3 Broly. And we're going to go back over to uh, Colossus Z's post, which I had linked in my other video. You, will see a pop you should see a pop-up now. If I don't have a pop-up, remind me in the comments. Uh, just to go over that real quick, this is the one I already went over. Leader skill is extreme, tech type, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 120% up. Uh, super tech types, key plus 1. HP attack and defense plus 50% up. His passive skill is attack plus 100% for every... Um, attack plus 100% and for every orb obtained, attack plus 12% defense uh, 10% down. Uh, that was a really horrible passive uh, buff right there, in my opinion. I mean, he just went from attack plus 80% up and attack for each orb 10% to 100%, so that's 20% attack buff, and only 2% per orb obtained. Okay, you know what I would say? Keep keep it at 12%. I think that's fair. But reduce the defense down, down to 5% per orb obtained. I think that would be a little bit more reasonable because he's a transcended version of himself now. That defense stayed the same. I don't get that. Anyway, Super Attack, Giant Omega, causes immense damage to the enemy, greatly lowers defense. Um, you, I put the video of the uh, of his Super Attack at the end of the link over uh, the end of the video over there. Uh, link skills are the Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Attack plus 20%. Oh, sorry, the Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Prepared for Battle, Super Saiyan, Nightmare, and Limit Breaking Form, and Fierce Battle or Super Fierce Battle. So that's that. I also went over in the other video the uh, his average attack and all of his attack stat, uh, stats. Um, with max uh, max everything minus two pads. So just just so I go over it really quick, his max damage with 30% dupe system bonus. Uh, I believe that's everything in the dupe system without having to have additional cards. Comes out to 1.2 million damage uh, if he gets uh, six orbs. I believe six orbs or six and a half orbs. The average attack with the five with a crit comes out to about 1.391 or 1.4 rounded up million damage. So he's not horrible, that's with a double 120 lead. 
He's not a horrible unit, but I, I'm still not a fan of him. He, he's not really someone who I think is a great card at all. I'm more excited about the Super Saiyan 3 physical Broly myself uh, in terms of this, because I don't really plan. When, the, when it comes to global, I'm probably not going to pull for him unless they do something crazy like throw some other really good cards in there. Anyway, in terms of those three great apes, other than now we also have, these are three new great apes. We also had two more that had just Doken Awakened. I believe it was the Bardock and the Fasha. So now we're just waiting on the rest of Bardock's team to get their Doken Awakens, which will probably be out next month. Um, in terms of viability, I'm not a big fan of the new Karadits. Plus, he doesn't really work that well on a strength team. He might go well with the Super Saiyan for Goku, just because he has a couple of those links that he can get in there. Uh, not a big fan. But I like the turn attendant grade ape Vegeta, though that restrictive kind of sucks. And that Goku is actually really good, the, the transcendent Goku, the physical one. Um, just because it's just a straight up attack was 8% at the start of the turn. That's awesome. That's good. In Kamehameha and Innocence, that's pretty decent. And he also has Giant Saiyan Roar, which aren't that great. But uh, out of these three, I'd say that the great ape kid Goku is probably the best. Anyway, guys, that is it. That's all the cards that are, that are now transcendent. Uh, hope that was helpful. Go ahead and subscribe if you are new here. Thank you. I appreciate you stopping by, but thank you. Go ahead and have a great night.